Flesh-eating piranhas have been spotted swimming in the flooded streets of a Brazilian city, following weeks of heavy rain in the country. 네, 브라질이 수주에 걸친 폭우 피해를 입은 후 범람 상태인 한 도시에서 육식성 물고기 피라냐가 헤엄치는 모습이 목격됐습니다. This sounds scary. Very scary, and in fact, quite literally something out of a... A horror movie. Uh, a horror movie, like a yeah. Hollywood movie with, uh, where piranhas are chasing you. Yeah. yeah. Um, or you're in the water and you feel something <laughs> touching your feet. Yeah, right. Um, first off, I, I noticed, uh, and people might have heard this too, but mm. uh, I, I said piranha. Right. And you in Korean, it. we say piranha. Right, right, but right. But in English, I also say piranha. Right, and I think both are, both are totally mm. right. Um, yeah. I would say from an American angle, mm. piranha is... is Yep. Much more widely used, but I do know that in in, in Korean and also right. in other English speaking countries around the world, it, it is piranha. Well, so, yeah, it's, uh, it's just one of those things, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. Many different pronunciations of the same word, which is what yeah. which is what makes English funky. <laughs> yes, um, yes. But this is in a region called Porto Alegre mm. in in the state of Rio Grande do Sul in Brazil, and uh, if you. See the footage. It's absolutely. It's 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 devastating. Right, really, what it right. is with the with the water coming up and mm. uh, covering the top of roofs and buildings. Yeah, the whole area has just been covered in uh, well, it's swamped and uh, flooded right now. But as you said, there's fish, and not just any fish. But we're looking at deadly piranhas in this case. Right, not just deadly, or not just any fish, but mm. flesh eating. Flesh eating. So. As it sounds, uh, they yeah. they come and chomp on your on your flesh. Mm. Um, you might have heard of like flesh eating ba bacteria. Oh, yeah. um, if you are sometimes swimming in a lake and you end up uh, with a case of uh, of something nasty like that. Um, mm. But th yes, this is a, a flesh eating piranha that is now showing up on the streets um, and floating. Floating around, they have nowhere yeah. to go. I mean, it's not really their fault. Right. Well, the first expression is, in fact, flesh eating. But flesh, it's it's skin, isn't it? Right. It's actually, mm. it's, it is it is skin. Yeah. And uh, it's sort of a, um, gosh, it, it's a, sort of a very, uh, not crude, mm -hmm. but what would you say? Kind of a raw way to say yeah. skin, right? Yeah. We wouldn't just use it to describe our skin. That's true. Um, but yeah. Uh, it, you're like, uh, it, it's sort of describing the actual physical mm. sort of layer of your skin um, used a lot in horror movies. Right. Um, or if you say something, you, you're seeing something in the flesh, you're seeing mm. it in person. Right. So right. it's something is right in front of you. Oh. You're seeing it in the flesh. 그러네요. 연예인 얘기로 다시 돌아가서 직접 연예인을 그 실물을 내가 아, 만났을 때? Right. See a celebrity in the flesh. In the flesh. And 이렇게. that could be a fan girling yeah. moment. Absolutely. There's a flesh라는 게 어, 그렇게 직접 사람의 몸, 살 mm. 이런 것들을 얘기하는데요. 어, flesh eating piranha라고 했습니다. Right. 그래서 여기서 이제 육식성이라고 번역을 할수 있겠지만 어, 뭐 이미지는 상상하시면 되겠습니다. <웃음> 자, 그 다음에 spotting something. Spotting something, yes. So, uh, so when you use it like that, so yeah. if I spot something, it, it is like I'm I'm seeing something. I see something. I spot something. Um, it's usually might not be something that you were looking for. It sounds mm. very casual. It might be like I was walking home and I spotted something randomly yeah. on the side of the street. Um, and if you use it, of course, uh, with be spotted. If you use it like that uh, in the passive. Um, then it would be, you can say you, something you were, was spotted, yeah. right? So the celebrity was spotted having lunch at a trendy restaurant. Mm. Um, something was spotted. So they were seen. They were seen. 네, right. 그렇습니다. 아, 이제 우연히 발견이 되거나 목격이 됐을 때 be spotted 이렇게 표현할 수 있고요. spot라는 동사가 뭔가 이렇게 찾다라는 의미도 될수 있어서 spot the difference라고 하면 은 우리말로는 그 다른 그림 찾기. Right. 네, 이거를 영어로는 spot the difference라고 해요. 자, 그럼 다시 한번 헤드라인 읽어 보겠습니다. Flesh eating piranhas have been spotted swimming in the flooded streets of a Brazilian city following weeks of heavy rain in the country. Now let's move on to the next headline. Please stand it. A new report finds that every 1 degree Celsius of warming knocks out 12% of the world's GDP, with experts estimating that climate change has shaved 37% off of global GDP per capita in the last 50 years. 
지난 50년 동안 기후변화로 인해 전 세계 국내 총생산 GDP의 37%가 증발했다는 전문가 의견과 함께 지구온난화로 지구 온도가 1도씨 상승할 때마다 세계 GDP가 12%씩 감소한다는 새로운 연구 결과가 발표됐습니다. Hmm. All right, so basically, hmm. climate change is making us poorer? I think so, or we would be that much richer yeah, if well. some of these things were not happening. Right. If we link it to the previous story with the crazy piranhas, I think this is all in the in the larger story of crazy weather phenomena yeah. that uh, that we almost seem used to now, um, that uh, that we see every year. And uh, actually, there is a, a dollar estimate to how much this is actually hurting us, hurting yeah. our planet, and hurting our pocketbooks. Yeah. I guess if you you know put things into perspective like this headline does it feels more real because we have a lot of headlines about the weather and climate change and global warming but oftentimes it doesn't feel real and at least not right not something you can tangibly feel and exactly. understand but if you look at it this way you know we would be richer <laughs> exactly. And it doesn't always hit home. Mm. It might be something you see on CNN. It might be something you see right. images of. Um, but when you do it like this, when, when mm. you put a, a dollar, uh, a figure to it, then you see that it actually is something that, that hurts us. Yeah, absolutely. 와닿다, 영어로 hit home. Mm. 이라고 합니다. 자, 이게 어, 어떤 금전적인 것과 함께 결부해서 기후 변화 얘기를 하니까 훨씬 더 와닿는 것 같아요. I think it really does hit home. 음. 그래서 무슨 얘기를 하고 있냐면은 every one degree Celsius that global warming, um, well, every time that happens, right. that knocks out 12% of the world's GDP. Right. And even that doesn't always make sense because right. it's such a large yeah. number. It's yeah. not like when we say, oh. Um, something a little bit, uh, you know, on a personal level. If you yeah, say, if, oh, you I don't, if I don't have this cup of coffee, or, yeah, right? exactly. <laughs> if I don't have that. a cup of coffee a week, then I can save mm. X number of dollars a year. Yeah. This is sort of a, a obviously a, a large global scale of a number, mm. but it does show that uh, there is a, a um, according to to these numbers, there is a an actual link mm -hmm. um, between uh, how we treat the planet and what happens to our pocketbooks. 네, 그렇습니다. 여기서 이제 uh, knock. out라는 게 원래 사전적인 의미에서는 어, 무언가를 없애다 이런 의미가 있는데요. 그래서 knock out 하고 뒤에 숫자가 나왔죠. 12%. Right. 세계 GDP의 12%씩 지구 온도가 1도 오를 때마다 GDP가 12%씩 knock out이 된다. 이 right. 얘기는 그만큼 GDP가 내려간다 이 뜻이겠죠. Right. 네. It could be. Uh, it, it's a. It's sort of a stronger way to say remove. Mm. Um, if you can imagine something being knocked out, it's, yeah. it's like wiping it out. Right. Um, so it's a stronger way to say that a figure has decreased yeah, or is sure. uh, is now removed. 네. 우리 복싱 할 때도 KO가 이게 knock out죠. That's where it comes from, right? <laughs> yes. And what about estimate? Estimate. Uh, est estimate, mm. right? Estimate mm. in in verb form yeah. and estimate, as you said it, uh, when we are speaking of it in noun form or adjective form. Mm. Um, but uh, yes, when you estimate something, you are you're you're guessing. You're yeah. you're um, trying to figure out without maybe knowing exactly. Mm -hmm. um, and sometimes, uh, like uh, in elementary school, your teacher will tell you to just guesstimate. Oh yeah. So you combine guess and estimate. So <laughs> oh. if you don't know the answer, sometimes you're your teacher might say, just guesstimate, mm. just uh, try to figure it out, just uh, just uh, without maybe having all the facts behind it. Yeah. Uh, but yes, to estimate would be to try to try to figure or calculate something without knowing all That's of right. the facts. Yes, 추정하다, estimate. 동사일 때는 발음이 이렇게 estimate고요. 명사일 때는 estimate. 그래서 조금 다르죠. Right, right, mm. okay. definitely. 다시 한번 읽어보겠습니다. A new report finds that every one degree Celsius of warming knocks out 12% of the world's GDP, with experts estimating that climate change has shaved 37% off of global GDP per capita in the last 50 years. Now let's move on to our final headline. Let's have a look. Studies show that the brains of modern humans are around 13% smaller than those of Homo sapiens who lived 100,000 years ago. 현대인의 뇌가 10만 년 전에 살았던 호모 사피엔스보다 약 13% 작아졌다는 연구 결과가 나왔습니다. 
So that's not to say that we have smaller brains than other animals, because right. we still have a, a huge brain compared huge to heads. other <laughs> animals. But I guess not only have our, our phones become mm. smaller, mm. but our brains have become smaller too. Maybe there's a link there yeah. too. Yeah, <laughs> what can you tell us? Um, so what's interesting about this is that our brains, like you say, are still the biggest. Yes. Um, and that, that's um, what keeps us, I guess, at the top of the food chain. Mm. Um, that keeps us uh, there at the, at the very top. But uh, our brains in general, um, over the course of the last 100,000 years, have gotten... Um, have gotten smaller as yeah, a species, yeah. and that is what this study is looking at. And uh, the, the, you know, obviously we don't know for for a complete sure, but one of the reasons why that might be the case is because we're thinking more in an abstract way, right? Um, rather than say thinking, okay, what am I going to have for dinner? Mm. I have to go out and spear a boar <laughs> or right. something like that. Yeah. So I think. Again, the the analogy between our brains and our smartphones and how our phones have actually become smaller than when they first came mm. out, um, that I think uh, is in a way very similar because our brains are able to... Um, to deal with things and... Process pro more. Exactly, process things better than before. So we don't need our brains to be that big, right? Right, right. Yeah. That's true. Um, and yet, there's so much that we don't use our brains for now oh, because okay. of these little machines right, that we have. Right, right. And so, uh, for example, you know, we don't have to memorize phone numbers. Mm. Um, we don't have to memorize uh, driving routes. Yeah, we don't yeah. have to um, do so many things that even 20 years ago mm. would have been cool. ways that we used our brains. Ah. Um, so, interesting. you know, as with any tool, mm -hmm. um, there's pros and cons. Uh, but in this case, uh, this is looking at how, you know, how brain size, our actual brain size mm. is, uh, is shrinking. 네, 그렇습니다. 여러 가지 이유가 있고요. 또 학자마다 약간씩 다른 설을 음. 어, 지금 제시하고 있기는 합니다. 일각에서는 우리가 이제 뇌의 기능이 워낙에 예전에 비해서 좋아졌기 때문에 그렇게 큰 뇌가 필요하지 않다라고 하기도 하고 또 한편으로는 어, 우리가 뇌로 예전만큼 많은 걸 하지를 않으니까 음. 그래서 작아졌다 이런 얘기들도 있고 뭐 다양한 설명은 있는데요. 어쨌든 다 현대인의 뇌에 대한 얘기고 뇌 사이즈가 줄어든 것만은 사실인 것 같아요. Right. So we're talking about modern humans. Modern humans, uh, that would be us. Yes. That would be us as, right. a, as a whole, as a, as a people. Modern 음. humans, that's us. Um, and I think there's a lot in there. Modern humans, I think, um, you know, includes in the in the understanding of it is sort of all the different activities mm. and all the different things that that we do now, uh, whether it be sitting eight hours a day, right. whether it be, like you say, staring into our smartphones, um, sort of these things that make us this kind of people now. Yeah, absolutely. 현대인, modern humans. 자, 그 다음에는 이제, uh, 이제 얼마나 작아졌느냐. 정확하진 않지만 대략 한 13% 정도. Around 30, 13%라고 했어요. Right. Be around. This is probably something we use all the time mm -hmm. when you're trying to, like we said earlier, estimate something. Yeah. You can say, oh, I think, you know, that building is around 10 stories, but mm -hmm. I can't be sure. Um, be around is when something is around something. It's a measure right. um, that might not be exact, but it's around something. Mm. Um, it's an approximation or an estimate. 네, 이 around 뒤에 숫자가 나오면은요 대략 뭐뭐뭐라는 뜻입니다. 그래서 approximately, about랑 같은 의미예요. Mm -hmm. 근데 참고로 그냥 단독으로 be around라고 하면 mm. 만약에 I'm gonna be around this afternoon. 뒤에 숫자가 나온 게 아니죠. Right. 내가 오늘 오후에 나는 여기 있을 거야. Mm -hmm. 이런 식으로 그냥 be around를 단독으로 썼을 때는 내가 여기에 이 근처에 있을 거다. Oh, yes. 이런 뜻이에요. Not that's without another, the number. That's another great usage of it. If you mm. don't follow it up with a number, you can just mean it to say, mm. I will be physically yeah. around. And also sort of included in that be around physically would be sort of like a, a, a kind of an included meaning of I'm free. So yeah. like yeah. I might call you up and say, hey, Sue, I'll be around um, the... Uh, area, yeah, yeah. I'll building. be around. I'll be around Ilsan. So, um, you know, uh, mm. let me know if you yeah. have time for coffee. I'll be around. 그렇죠. 내가 그 부근에 있을 거야. Mm. 이런 의미로 be around를 쓸 수도 있는데요. 어, 용법은 전혀 다릅니다만 이제 같은 mm. 단어니까 참고로 알아두시면 되겠습니다. 
자, 다시, 다시 한번 읽어볼게요. Studies show that the brains of modern humans are around 13% smaller than those of Homo sapiens who lived 100,000 years ago. And that's it for our headlines with Janet.